Newspapers Digital Strategy, SPH. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to join you today at the Singapore Blog Awards 2014. After listening to uh, Quan Fong's speech as well as the MC's introduction, I must say I, I feel a little bit confused about which language to use. Um, I, I'm told that many amongst the audience uh, blog in English uh, and are users of English. And yet, this is an award that has been repeatedly organized by the Chinese Newspapers Division uh, of, of SDH. So, in this case, this is really a strong event. So, I think that our Huawei Web Award friends can continue to win for a year by year the Huawei Web Award. And its award is very important and includes using English. 呃，来写部落格的朋友们，我觉得呢，这个应该说是我们用英文说是非常 inclusive 啊，这个是非常有包容性的。所以呢，在此呢，也要呃向我们的这个华文报的各位同事们表示感谢，谢谢你们。那么能够在呃这个星期六早上呢，呃来到我们教会的现场，同我们衣着光鲜的许多的潮男潮女啊，还有还有各界达人。相聚一堂真的是非常开心的一件事。The、uh, Singapore Blog Awards is in the seventh year, celebrating the best of Singapore's blogging scene. I had the opportunity to browse through some very informative and indeed very interesting blogs from the finalists today. For example, Chris from BudgetPantry.com shares her home recipes, giving creative ways to whip up a budget meal right in the comfort of our own homes. Zio Lai, who started the SG Unfit Runners blog, gathers busy people in their 30s who want to find motivation to exercise and stay fit. I, I feel this blog has been written for people like me. <laughs> Sharing his personal journey to stay fit, he has gathered a following of like-minded Singaporeans who travel around our island to do short two to five kilometer runs. Actually, I don't think that's very short, at least not for me, uh, to keep fit. Just as many Singaporeans are using social media to share their experiences, more Singaporeans are sharing their views on national policies and issues that matter to us. Such discussions, which sometimes can be very intense, have led to a vibrant social media landscape. It's only natural that there would be a diversity of views. However, to build a truly inclusive social media space, let's all show respect, practice empathy, and exercise restraint whenever our points of views do not meet. I think seasoned bloggers would also agree that it is equally important to uphold the necessity of substantiating opinions with facts and research. Mr. Tony, who started the Joho Kaki blog, has an interesting approach. He explicitly states that he would only feature food that he enjoys on his blog. He refrains from putting up negative reviews as he recognizes that people's tastes do differ widely and he recognizes that something he doesn't like might be the favorite of other people. He also understands that writing negative reviews damages the business and livelihood of the hawkers and their families. I admire your focus and effort to accord respect and empathy for the hawkers. Many of you here today have your own blogs and your own following. You can be the social media influencers to help promote responsible and respectful conduct in the online sphere. I would like to end by acknowledging each and every blogger who has made it to the finals. It's not easy to keep up a blog, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of devotion, and the engagement with your followers, with comments, can indeed be very draining. But you have persisted, you have carried on, and I think you have provided many useful facts and information to your readers, and that deserves recognition and applause. Thank you. Very, very Thank you. Once again, a round of applause for our guest of honor, Minister of State, Mr.